You're still watching the marketplace. Now, the chief executive of Cocoa Board, Joseph Boahin Edu, has justified his projection of 900,000 metric tons of cocoa by the end of the 2020-2021 crop season. Speaking to Joy Business at the site of the signing of a $1.3 billion syndication loan, Joseph Boahin Edu explains that interventions made to increase crop yield puts Cocoa Board in the best position to even exceed the 900,000 metric tons cocoa target. Listen to him. When you are going for any facility, you must look at your crop outlook. It's very, very important. Some time back, we made a mistake. Look, in 2015, 2016, uh, Ghana went in for um, a two billion facility. And they, there was a projection of uh, uh, making 900,000 metric tons. Now that year, Ghana could not. We made a production of less than 800,000. Uh, 2014, 15, we made 740,000 metric tons. The following year, it was 778,000 metric tons. Now when you produce that, meanwhile, you've, you've sold your cocoa forward. You sign contracts with a view that we are going to uh, give your buyers 900,000 metric tons of cocoa. Then you end up making 778 or 740,000. It means you've defaulted. You've taken the money. So they compel you to produce the cocoa. And that's a, one of the problems we came to face. You know, we are defaulted. <laughs> and at some point, we have to go and pay uh, a penalty at the international arbitration, $7 million for default. And then we also had to pay all the defaulted cocoa contracts. You see, so when you are going for syndication, you don't just go and then take the money, no. You have to sit down and then look at your crop outlook to see if your crop outlook can meet the amount you are requesting. That's why we go in for 1.3. You know, noting that we've been producing around 800,000 metric tons. So if you sell 60% of that, you should be able to pay uh, 